Namaste everybody and happy May 2021 season! Well, you ready Aries? This is going to be really beautiful, really nice month for you. Now, yeah, I feel like you need a pep talk, right? Because you're always giving others a pep talk, you're always advising others. And to be fair, a lot of people aren't around for you right now, okay? They're all away doing their other, they're, everyone's away doing their own thing, right? And I feel that like you really need to uplifting. I want you to try and find someone that will sit one to one to you and give you that pep talk just to just recharge, okay? Um, you're going to come out of your comfort zone. You're embracing the change, you're growing, you're transforming. You're coming out with that warrior spirit again, which I love. Now, really practice yoga for strengthening your back, okay? And number eight is so lucky this month for you. You are a star and you're going to be a star this month. You're going to need uplifting and you need growth. I know you've been feeling abandoned and you really feel that people aren't coming through for you, but someone is this month and it might be around the 8th of May, okay? Under no circumstances be around negative energies about 18 to the 22nd. All right, um, you still need peace and you need, still need healing. So around that weekend, the 18th to the 22nd, just breathe and don't be around too much energies around that time, okay? If you are, ram, 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 keep your cool. It's going to be a powerful, strengthening, lucky month for you. So enjoy, Aries, you absolute queen. I'm sending you so much love and light. Mwah. Namaste. Absolute Queen, how are you gorgeous? Welcome to May 2021. You are fearless by nature and you are going to get your strength back this month, okay? All your power. Do not back down on anything. Whatever your dreams are, go for them because they're so close, all right? Um, some of you, actually one day maybe a leader, an activist, you know, I think Cher, she had told us, yeah, we need strong, independent women like you, honestly, and really have a voice for others. Um, you are getting bored with the same old and you really are looking above and beyond for your next huge adventure is coming. Um, don't overly commit yourself too much this month. Do things that truly please you. You're one step closer to that big dream. Um, I actually see some of you doing a test to do acting, okay? Or going into acting. You're a born actress, you're a born for the silver screen, you really are. Um, so go for it, go for it, try everything you can. You know, go into character, even if it's in your room and practice, all right? Going into different characters, because I can see somebody's been an actress. Um, so yeah, organize, oh yeah. You can also see you organizing a beautiful event for someone, and this is maybe something you could do in the future, because you're really, really good at this. But you're going to organize an event, a beautiful event for someone special, and it brings so much joy to everyone around. Um, I really want you to think pure lilac, white you know that lilac white color for this thing because it's going to be absolutely beautiful but you're going to be fearless this month you're going to feel your strength and your smile and your spark some of you get into acting because you're brilliant at this and just have a, a amazing an amazing powerful month okay around the 16th news is coming in for you as well so i really think it's very positive very exciting you'll get your butterflies so this is really good it's powerful and you enjoy you absolute absolute queen i love you so much namaste How are you gorgeous? <laughs> I hope you're well. It's all about finances, working finances this month, okay? But don't do too much. Really test the water this month. Don't dive into anything, okay? You're gonna get your flow back with money. You're gonna get your working energy back, okay? Um, yeah, yeah. You're gonna take a short trip away, although you're like, should I stay or should I go now? Go, go for it. You need it to recharge your battery. So if you get to get away, go for a day or two, okay? And just spoil yourself. Because when you come back, you really will be like, right, I'm back and I'm ready now, okay? More than ever. Um, yep. Some of you are broody. Some of you are very, very broody right now, okay? <laughs> Let that pass, all right? Um, and someone's going to be announcing a pregnancy as well around you, around the 18th. Um, your new fresh cycle starts at the end of the month, and that's when you're going to start kick your healthy diet, 
So wait till after the 18th of uh, May before you do all this, okay? But you need to let go of something, something in your past. You need to let go. You need to let go and be free. Stop thinking about it now. Make that decision and go for it, okay? Um, pink crystals. Get yourself some pink crystals. Really do give you energy and excite that passion, all right? And memories from your childhood, you have a lot of daydreaming going on in me. So anything that comes up to the surface regarding your childhood, I don't know, just really have a think about this. Think about your childhood. There's something missing that's not connecting with adulthood. So go back there, okay, and just maybe a past life regression therapy session or something like that. But there's something from your childhood that needs to be repaired. Um, and, and around the 22nd Monday something comes up as well again make sure you don't overspend around that time because it could be a wee repair and you need a wee bit extra cash just to sort that out but you've got a powerful month it's going to be magical and you're going to feel good okay so have a wonderful time I love you so much enjoy Queen Namaste gorgeous Cancerian how are you I wrote this because it just it came to me okay Hope you enjoy. When you love someone so deeply, they become your life. It's easy to succumb to overwhelming fears inside. Blindly, I imagined I could keep you under glass. Now I understand to hold you. I must open up my hands and then watch you rise. Spread your wings and prepare to fly, for you have become a butterfly. Do you know that song, everyone? Mariah Carey. Spread your wings and prepare to fly. Oh, because you. <laughs> that song, I was writing this and crying the other day, cause just thinking about you, you're becoming a butterfly. It was painful. It always is. When you become a butterfly, it's painful. You go through nights of the dark soul, the physical. It's, oh, it's like a death. But you're coming out rising. You really have. You really are. You're coming out rising. Sudden wealth is coming in, okay? And actually, want you listen to that Mariah Carey song, Butterfly, is so powerful. It's so powerful because Cancerians love so, so deeply, okay? I know we can become quite controlling. That's because we love so hard. We love so hard, right? So anyone that has a Cancerian in their life, they're very blessed. So remember that, okay? Sometimes they can go and be moods and that kind of, but it's just because they love so deeply, okay? But yes, good news is, is coming for you. Sudden wealth sudden acknowledgement all right it's all happening in may especially around the 5th of may you're going to get amazing news coming in for you all right it's going to be powerful um love is going to blossom wealth is going to blossom your confidence is going to blossom your diet's going to get better you're going to feel lighter on your feet it's just such a good good month and you're going to get respect respect for all your hard work so you keep going me is magical all right and you know what you're always taking on all the emotions and all you're listening to the others i actually want you to find someone and go and speak to someone about you someone you can trust and tell them about you and release all that as well but it's going to be very exciting very powerful you're going to have an amazing month listen to butterfly because that song is for you Okay, I, I love you so much. Have a giddy, powerful month, you absolute queen. Namaste. Stay gorgeous, lioness. You are getting your power back like no other, okay? You're awakening to who you truly, truly are. You're a deep-rooted soul, and you do have mad dreams, especially around that film. <laughs> and you were worrying and thinking, is this the right road I'm on? I'm in the right path in relationships. It's all going to make sense soon, okay? Um... You're working your way like the phoenix rising from the ashes, my dear. When the sun comes in, out, so do you. That's when you bask and you get your energy and it's coming, okay? Um, if you like something, you go for it. You're passionate, that's what's amazing about you. But you feel like you're passionate, wee sparks and opening around and it's coming, okay? Just watch the 5th of May, it's coming back. Your energy, all your creative sparks are all coming back. Um, I want you to go and treat yourself to a tiger eye stone. I always leave my stones in my bra, okay? It sends me lots of healings. And thank you, everyone, all, everyone that sends me uh, stones and gives me stones as a gift because I cherish them forever. Um, and I really, the, the one that I got, the tiger eye one, really helped with a, a physical pain I was going through. So tiger eye, it really will bring that strength, that lioness power. Me being a uh, cancer Leo cusp, I, I channel into Leos a lot, okay? So yes, the tiger eye stone, get it for yourself, but it's going to be such an exciting month for you as well, okay? Um, 
wait till the first week of June to get back in business again. All right, May's all about getting the creative spark, shaking everything off, going doing a sun dance in the grass with your feet up, you know, just shake it off, go crazy. I really want you to go boho, indigo, happy child this month, shake all the fears off, take all the anxiety off, and remember who you are. You are a leader, natural born leader. That's what we need, we need you, okay? So come honestly, it's going to be a powerful month. You are a leader, okay? You're going to get your spark back. We need people like you in this world, okay? So come through, do, just chill out in May and watch June for a powerful, powerful back to work focus month. Enjoy your absolute queen. One love. Stay Virgo queen this month. Empress vibes, you're strong, you're busy and you're strong, you're feeling in your power which is great, you're here, you're finally getting there okay, you're on the rise, you're more focused and everything must go smoothly in May for you, so anyone around the 14th, any wee anxious vibes alright, don't let anyone make you lose your cool, three deep breaths and ram 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 okay, um, no more drama, no more drama. Honestly, no more drama. Bye bye, bye bye. Everything's calm. You are receiving uh, a message from someone from the past. A very toxic person wants to come back in your life. Bye. Not interested. Don't give them any energy, okay? No energy. You're above this now. You have grown. You're strong. You don't need any toxic people from the past. So just later, okay? Um, you're waiting for your ships to come in and an offer is coming in for you a deep connection and love is deepening it's real love okay so just to go have a lovely surprise around the 20th a really romantic gesture and um, this is from a loving nice person so follow love always always connect with love anyone that gives you anxiety stresses you out you know that person you don't need them in your life okay this is powerful but there's a wee painful memory from your past that really needs to be moved removed okay and you need to be free something every time you get stronger and everything else something comes in from the past and it upsets the balance within everything so you have to go there and find what that was and set it free go to a good healer and set it free okay but you're going to have a powerful month deep connections deeper love deeper bonds and you are the empress so enjoy this you absolute goddess i love you so much namaste libra you absolute goddess may is powerful very powerful for messages from spirit you see a lot of numbers, okay? So every time you see a 333, a 222, 1111, look behind the deeper message, okay? Because you're connecting with the other side. You really are connecting with spirit throughout the month, okay? And spirit is trying to send you a powerful, powerful message through numbers. You're working hard behind the scenes. You really are working hard behind the scenes, so I want you to really ease your mind, okay? A lot of pressure will be coming off of me. It's all about expression, communication, lunch dates, and getting busy and connecting with others, all right? That's the second half of me. Um, and acknowledge your blessings. And a move is on the way as well, by the way. I think somebody, some of you are going to move. Prayers are going to be answered. You're going to connect through prayer and you will know you're going in the right path. You'll feel this around the 11th of May. You'll know finally I'm on the right path. I'm on the right flow, okay? The romance angels are on their way for you. <laughs> yes. So enjoy. You need this. You need divine love. You really do. You're a, you're a goddess. Okay? Fire. I wrote fire. 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 I think fire is going to help with your healing. So candles a barbecue, fire, look into the fire, look into the flame. So much messages come through a flame, okay? And water, look deep, okay? Because fire is very powerful throughout the month. But it's going to be wonderful, all right? The 3rd of May, make a big wish, it's going to come true for you. Honestly, you're going to get all your rewards for all your hard work and writing. Send you so much love. You are blessed. And you're a beautiful soul. I love you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful month, goddess. Mwah. Love you. Namaste, Scorpio. Wow, that full moon in your sign. You know it. You, you, can, you can feel the change. I feel it coming. I feel it coming for you, by the way. You bring so much sunshine. You're bringing so much joy in me to others. You're feeling really strong, okay? 
you're the rose to my thorn someone is feeling by the way <laughs> they need you back and also i've wrote 26 and 33 i don't know why and i've wrote who's kelly who's kelly with a question mark who's kelly because kelly wants to connect with someone that's born scorpio born okay so kelly i wrote who's kelly does anyone, does anyone know kelly Hmm, okay, and 26 and 33 I've wrote down, okay. Um, yeah, you're feeling regretful about a choice you made in a relationship and you're about to communicate with someone, really clear communication, all right, and it's going to gel the relationship, okay? Strong bonds. Um, someone around you is going off the rails, <laughs> although you don't see it, you think everything's calm, but someone behind the scenes is going off the rails because you've left them. You've, you've, you've left them somehow, okay? You're, you're more focused on you and you've kind of disappeared out that, that zone. Um, yeah, I want you to observe yourself and others around right now, Scorpio, because you're selecting your soul summer tribe, you are. You're deciding now, I want new people. I want nice, loving, indigo children around me, spiritual people, and you're going to get that tribe, okay? You're going to connect with uplifting, soulful people and you really are feeling your power watch around the 20th of may right sparks are coming back your confidence is coming back the compliments are going to flow you're a goddess enjoy it okay you're absolute rose love you stay sagittarius well i'm buzzing for you this month because guess what's coming in the 26th of may it's a super blood moon la luna eclipse Woo! Huge celebration, by the way, is coming for you. And it's all about freedom and Jupiter. It is. It's all about that freedom, okay? You're going to feel free. You discover something. You really discover something that excites you. All right, brings you power. And you travel to a beautiful destination in May. Uh, yeah, go. And because you, you do, you do, you've been working so, so hard. You need rest, rejuvenation. Take care of you and take a break. Um, you deserve to relax, unwind, and have fun. When was the last time? Have fun, have fun, okay? Um, breaks off social media throughout May. It's just going to suck your divine energy, all right? Especially in May. There's not much happening, honestly, with social media in May. So you don't need to be all social media, okay? Um, you're dealing with an, an inflamed situation. So whoever's inflamed and all anxious just let them go and deal with it let them deal with it all calm okay clear connections with others um yeah you need to get a clear stone like a moonstone for me it keeps you nice and clear and, and calm and sense healing like a moonstone all right we are um, meal it for yourself it'll be very beneficial but i'm buzzing i'm buzzing you're going to travel somewhere it's going to be exciting so you relax have a nice chill time okay meditation oh Namo Shivaya. Three times a day to relax. It's going to be powerful. Rejuvenate and enjoy, especially around the 26th of May. You're going to feel your power back. So throughout this month, rest, okay, and enjoy. It's going to be magical. I love you so much. One love. Namaste. Namaste, Capricorn. How are you, gorgeous? I hope you're well, beautiful. Really, really good game changer month for you. <laughs> really is on it. Wow, Pluto's going retrograde in the sign of Capricorn till October. Capricorns, you're coming out. You're coming out your shell. You're ready. New opportunities are on the way, so trust the change and release the fears. I hear color or style as well. You're getting, you're totally changing your style. Um, Podcast very successful around this month, okay? And a special event is coming. But um, also a visitor is coming to stay with you and they're bringing lovely gifts. This chat, this connection with your, whoever the visitor is coming in, whoever it is, you need this chat. You need to chat to someone that you don't chat to normally and you need to just vent, 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 vent. Um, there is a wee bit of cloudiness around someone you just can't work out, okay? But you will connect with that person one day and have a clear communication about whatever that is. Don't discuss these feels with anyone, just let it go, okay, until you get the facts. Um, you have been feeling overwhelmed, especially January, February. That was the moon, okay, that was the moon. It brings all your emotions up. Um, and I see tears from some, really draining, and tears get your iron levels checked. You're doing a great job, you really are. Pace yourself, don't rush back to work. Wait till after summer, all right, it's going to be better for you. Um, long walks around cherry blossom trees if there's any and Saturday the 15th of May is a good time for getting out around nature as well okay 
um, an intense energy around someone, okay? Someone that's not been heard within, someone that's trying to maybe chat to you and they kind of get their something, they kind of get something off their chest. So someone's going to come in again with communication regarding their emotions. Um, but you trust, trust the change, release the fears, and you're really, really going to have a lot of good luck right up till October. So this is exciting. Have a great, great month, Capricorn. Love you. Namaste Aquarius, how are you? Aqua goddess, gods of the universe, I love you. Um, you need a you need a detox, bro. You need a detox on social media. Alright. And me. Okay, so just try and keep off social media and the phone, please, please, please. Because June is better for all that. So May is just about finding yourself and rebalancing yourself and all the chakras, just balancing that out, okay? Um, become present in the moment and stop overthinking about the future because your future's magical. I want you to focus on your heart chakra work. More love towards others and yourself, all right? And you're going to manifest someone into your life, okay? Because you deserve love. I've wrote down the Bee Gees to love somebody. Either someone is thinking about your vice versa to this song or there's a hidden message behind this song. To love somebody. Love it. Listen to it. it makes me cry every time. Listen to that song, okay? Um, change the flow of your life throughout me. Change it all. Um, the full moon really had you exhausted. That powerful full moon there, you really, really felt it. You were feeling quite drained. So all your, your energy is coming back, all right? Um... Take your mind away from all the noise. You need time out to be alone, reflect, centre these chakras. A lot of hard work, honestly, all your hard work, all the seeds you've planted, okay? They're going to come out in June, all right? Um, you, will be, you will be drawn in to investigate others' behaviours and stuff like that. Yeah, their experience, that's what I thought, yes! Do you know, I always see you being an interviewer. I always see you being an interviewer and you are, you're looking at psychology, you're looking into people's behaviour, you're really keen to know about people's behaviour through lockdown and how it's changed them mentally. So there's something about this you're going to do about people's behaviour and bringing out their voices. You just, you're going to be like a great interviewer. Watch Pierce Morgan and, and learn, okay? Watch and learn about this because this is something really amazing. You're rising, honestly, and... Yeah, yeah, you, you could do something to do with us with career, interviewing people about their lives, about really important things that matter in their lives. Go deeper and darker and whatever, but interview people because you're amazing at this, okay? Good luck arrives in the 16th. And I just want you to click, just count your blessings, honestly, because you're very, very blessed. You're very loved. Sometimes misunderstood, but you know what? You're a majestic god goddess and i love you so much it's going to be an empowering month breathe no stress keep everything calm be around water and believe in yourself because you are a goddess i love you have a brilliant month namaste gorgeous pisces how are you gorgeous i hope you're well i was feeling some of you quite nervous um around me the first two weeks of sorry, April, throughout April, I felt nerves, okay? But don't worry, you're getting your strength back and calm, all right? Um, just breathe, because good things are coming in me. You're working so hard behind the scenes and you're close to your few days off, which is going to be magical. Turn that phone off for the three days, okay? Yes. You're going to get your few days off, which is going to be magical. Phone off, okay? Um, you are coming out of the nights of dark soul and you're retrieving yourself. Um, you had a bit of a broken heart. I don't know if it was last year or recently, but your heart's about to mend, okay? You're going through a spiritual awakening and you're receiving a lot of messages, okay? Your plans are moving forward and you're ready. You're really ready for this. You're going to get money, a lot of stability and money and you're going to be working on yourself throughout May as well. Just have patience. You're getting your strength back. Um, a Leo and a Virgo and a Cancer is all you need in May to just get that balance back, all right? Keep your circle small, as Kendrick Lamar says. And yeah, you're a workaholic, but remember those few days, you really, really, really turn your phone off, relax and breathe and just, 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 just channel in to 
your divine soul and repair everything within and start this new chapter, okay? Because it is a new chapter and it's powerful and it's all about you. It's all about you and learn to say no, okay? No! That's it. All right? It's going to be magical this month for you. You're going to get your strength back. And child pose yoga, do that every single day because that's going to help with your back, all right? You don't need to go mad at the gym, mad running. Do that child pose yoga daily for five minutes and watch your back pain. I promise you, your back pain will be gone, gone. Do it every single day, okay? So have a magical month. Send you so much love and light. Namaste. So yeah, everyone, I have really, really been praying a lot and connecting a lot with Hanuman. I love him so much. Hanuman, 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 I love him. He's been really helping me get my strength back, my power back. Um, he's so loyal and he connects so deeply with your heart chakra, okay? He brings so much strength and I prayed so much. Please strengthen the world. I'm watching what's going on in India right now and I'm sending so many prayers and it's just devastating catching the last breath it's just devastating okay but i keep believing in the power of prayer and i really truly believe that if you all pray and channel into hanuman or whoever you're whoever you channel into if everyone just prays and really really asks just for a healing universe and send out healing energy to others okay it really is it's, it's just so so powerful so i'm sending all my love all my strength to everybody that's suffering right now suffering in silence right now people that have lost someone even relationships or you know just i'm sending you all so much love if you ever want a, a private reading with me you can find me palmistry madry on instagram madry palmistry on facebook and just know that there is people out there that really really do love everyone okay we all should love everyone all right these are all forever in my hearts and i just hope you honestly have the best blessed life ever and just be happy and just don't take too much stress on and just breathe okay and if you need help with this break through this painful past painful memory anything at all you know i'm all here for you okay so have a really good exciting powerful month and i love you all namaste <laughs>